Who has the best girlfriend ever? I do. Who just bought you all this stuff? She did. And all the stuff? My girl bought all of it, and I'm about to eat this, and then we're going to chow on that after. So, a happy mm. Easter. Yeah. <laughs> but we're not eating at all. Just know that. Because we got to save some. Yeah. You know? <clears throat> Budget cuts, you know? <laughs> save, save, save. You know? So we're going to scoff this stuff down. Because Boo deserved it. <laughs> you know? Even though we get in our arguments sometimes, I still love you, okay? I love you too. Yeah. I love you too, baby. Y yeah, you, you better. Because <laughs> I just spent... Some money on you. Yeah. Chilling video of one of the Israeli hostages held by Hamas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was interesting. You remember when we were taught that men's rights activists were the bad guys? Uh huh. <laughs> that lie. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. There is a What's type of there? person. There's something wrong with them where they they think that they're supposed to update their like everybody on their lives daily uh -huh. yeah. I think it's just part of it uh -huh. and some of them are just like weirdos like that yeah none of us want to see it it actually bothers us it's like watching a dog abuse video yeah yeah but they just need you to know actually we're in love yeah oh we fought today like they're those people we fought yeah. today we're happy today look yeah. i'm feeding him today right. look i'm threatening him today right and they go this is life yeah it's a type of you know she was like i bought him this and then she points to like laundry detergent <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> I bought I him all this stuff <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very threatening. Yeah, and then somebody found a picture of them, and it looks like she's she could really physically overpower him. Oh yeah, he's scared. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I don't mind that being like a role play situation, but I don't think it's that. That's just his life. It seems like that's his life. Yeah, I don't mind if a guy wants to date a big lady, and the whole thing is I scare you, and then we fuck. Yeah, but if I don't see you fucking, I I just think you're scaring. <laughs> right, 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 <laughs> you right, have to right, show right, right, right. Both of you fucking later. Right. For we me need to think a, this is cool. We need a follow up of them raw dog. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Out for Smokes podcast. I want to thank everybody that came out to the show last night in uh, Chicago at Zanies. We almost sold it out on a Wednesday night. Thanks for watching the special. Um, and it is our 199th episode. Oh. How do you boys feel? It was great. 199? Yeah. 200 will be over on the Patreon. So, patreon.com. Oh, shit. Flash. There we go. Out for Smokes. We got some special things planned. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we yeah. got some real, so we, some, we got some real treats over on the, uh, over on the Patreon. We've been lying to the listeners for 199 episodes. Mm -hmm. Why stop now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Um, so, yeah. What's happening? I don't know, boys. How was your week? How was your Easter? It was good. Yeah. Did what you did do I do? Shit or no? I you didn't did do the money like, thing with Ben. Uh, yeah, yeah, I did. We did the Easter basket. He got sick on Saturday, so we had an excuse not to go do anywhere. Anything. We just That's had nice. Spend, I mean, having your own family kind of rules. Yeah. What? What? You, you know. He, and like a baby being sick, it's like that's a lie too, right? You just go, he shit his pants. Basically, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. We yeah. could have dragged him out the jury yeah, exactly. if we had to, but of yeah. course, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's so good. Yeah, it's nice to have that family time. We we went to the uh, the park and he just threw rocks in the in the water for like thirty minutes. That's beautiful. And I was like, this is good, but I do feel myself getting a little dumber. You know, you got to teach him how to skip rocks. Yeah. Yeah. Was yeah. he just chucking them? Were you he just like he loves to just chuck the rocks. Yeah. That's and there was a building off in the distance, and I was like, I'm gonna hit the building, and I couldn't hit the building. And he was like, Try again. <laughs> <laughs> like he thought he thought I could hit the building with a rock. Yeah. There yeah. was a dad playing catch with his son, and he threw it at Tower Seven at the mm. same time mm. they had it implode. Okay. And his son thought he did it. Yeah. 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 Sad how that that worked out. But happy for that family. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the shit Dunkin' Donuts is doing with the short king now that spring is here? <laughs> Sorry to change the subject so quick. But it's inf you can't call some... They're selling their small coffees and calling them short kings to yeah. honor guys under 5'8". Now, that I thought That's was pretty... That's not to honor guy. That's insulting. Yeah. I thought that was pretty cool, though. Wait, you like they're that They're admitting idea? that you have to be under 5'8 to be considered short. They're admitting that they're admitting that five eight is average height. No, five eight is short. It's five eight and under. No, it's and it says under five eight. What are you five eight? 
I'm 5'8", yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, but but they're, they're not even giving short people eight. a free call. It's not like, oh, if you're yeah, short, yeah, come yeah, in, right. we'll give you a free call. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just calling an item short yeah. for actually no reason. Yeah. Just because you think it's like a funny thing that people say. Mm -hmm. Short king. So yeah. if you're above 5'8", you can't order the short king. <laughs> yeah. They're going to start calling the munchkins Guatemalans. <laughs> 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 yeah, if you're five, if you're above five eight and you ask for it, they go, "Oh, for your child? Yeah, <laughs> that's fine." Yeah. yeah. Did I ever tell you that when I worked at Shoprite, there was like a little Guatemalan guy that like he was so this guy was so tiny, like he looked like an Ewok, no shit. and he would like yeah he would like work so hard, and he, his name was Eddie, and he was maybe like this big, and then one time we had some like because I worked in the produce department, we had some fruit left over. He was like. Yes, I'm going to take this home to my wife. I'm like, you have a wife? That's so adorable. <laughs> like every day I would come to work and I would just I would just want to pick him up and like just cover his head with kisses. <laughs> Do they still call the donut holes munchkins? I think so. That's, That's not a slur. It's a slur enough. Is it? Yeah, when you take away midget, we start saying munchkin. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've definitely described little people as munchkins. Dunkin' Donuts wants to apologize for calling our donut holes Guatemalans. <laughs> <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts rules. It really does, yeah. It's good coffee. What's your Dunkin' Donuts order? Oh, just like two donuts and a coffee. Really? Yeah, yeah like what, the glazed chocolate with sprinkle? Yeah. That's good. Yeah, that's what I like. Chocolate frosted with sprinkles, for sure. Their breakfast sandwiches are good, but the croissant on the, like the sausage, egg, and cheese croissant is really heavy. Yeah, I'm not crazy about their breakfast sandwich. I've done their breakfast sandwich a lot because, you know, you're, you're a guy and yeah. your route is one way and there's only a Dunkin' that way. Yeah, yeah. But, man, it's nothing like any other breakfast sandwich. Yeah. In my opinion. Yeah. I've been eating a lot of bacon and sausage lately and I feel like I need to chill out a little bit. Yeah. Well, I remember one time Wessel Schmidt was like, bacon is good for you in that your mm -hmm. body at least knows what to do with it. Mm -hmm. Remote, like, you, like, bacon is better than a pancake, he told me. And I don't know if that's true. But I I've, no like, recklessly eaten bacon since then. Sure. For 10 years. Yeah. Right, yeah. That's, like, Lewis logic, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, for yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, doggy. <laughs> yeah, the extremely tall, bald guy at an open mic told you something, and <laughs> you took that as medical gospel. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's malnourished. <laughs> 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 the Nosferatu-looking guy at the open yeah, mic. Yeah, his body can't grow hair he looks like he's, he's that he, malnourished. <laughs> he looks like he's made out of bacon, actually. Yeah. 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 Um, you were finding that out when you were a kid. You what? go like, well, what? But why do all the the kid the starving kids they're bald, they're getting haircuts and they go their hair actually can't grow. Oh, really? Because of how malnourished. That's what I've always heard. Oh, I never even thought about. Yeah, that. yeah. These guys have like no hair. You know. Yeah, yeah. Do they even have pubes? Like I don't even remember seeing pubes on like. Well, if not if they're kids. I'm, I'm talking about kids, I guess. But yeah. even like, you know, you look at like uh, African like tribes, right? Mm -hmm. Like I don't remember pubes. <laughs> Well, because they're usually, they have, like, loincloths on. Yeah, I guess so. They're like, in the arms of the... <laughs> some some kids in Africa don't even have pubes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we wouldn't be donating right if now. all their cocks were hanging out. We'd be like, no, yeah. they get none of my money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> if, like, while this, the white guy's talking, just yeah, like a yeah. black cock, like, you, you know, like when uh, that woman was interviewing some basketball player and there's mm -hmm. just, like, a, a naked dude walking behind her. Mm -hmm. It's like that, but for the, uh, yeah. the sad videos. Yeah. yeah. Your dad's like, come on, Barbara, they have pubes. Yeah. <laughs> You're <Yeah>. fine. <laughs> for, for just the price of a coffee, and then you see the, this cock the size of a, of a grande. Yeah. Americano. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this thing with the, uh, with the aid workers from the, what was it, the World Kitchen? Yeah, World yeah. Center Kitchen. World Center Kitchen. Does that, does that feel like that's going to do anything or well it's just they've been get, doing this game forever of yeah. saying oh d we're going to condition the next yeah the world central kitchen excuse me yeah can you explain that i don't know what that is world central kitchen is a, a non-profit set up by that celebrity chef uh gordon ramsay no <laughs> uh what's his rachel name? ray <laughs> just like we're gonna go to gaza yeah um uh, jose andres he set it up in 2010. He set it up to like deliver meals to Haiti after the earthquake, mm -hmm. and there were people like posting on Twitter. He's, you know, it's 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 one of those, to an extent, an NGO scam where they were charging I don't like 544 dollars per meal, and it's like okay, yeah, some of that you have to transport a meal into a devastated zone, blah blah blah. But yeah. the, they're bilking people, uh -huh. you know, and this okay. is like a lot of these NGOs do that, and mm -hmm. this is like. 
it is an NGO that has like fucking department of, uh, department of defense and other people like on the board or have been. I mean, it's like people have pointed out it's, uh, you know, and it gets funding from USAID. It's, it's one of these things that it does have a relationship with the U S government yeah. where, uh, 544 per, per mil. Who are they feeding? My wife. <laughs> uh, like I said, no cocktails. I said I would pay for dinner if you didn't order cocktails. But um, but yeah. So the Biden signed this bill that defunded the UN agency that deals with Palestinian refugees. You know, mm-hmm. or it made the U.S. say we're not going to pay it any money until middle of 2025. Mm-hmm. That's in the middle of uh, you know a famine. Yeah. Uh, or on the brink of a famine we don't know like there are people who say the famine has already started in north gaza there are people who say it's you know on the brink but uh this was the world central kitchen was like okay we'll kind of fill the gaps after uh the u.n refugee agency is not getting its funding so we'll kind of send out this more u.s approved um organization to at least do some symbolic like to at least feed some people like it wouldn't be able to match the volume of the u.n agency there's no way um, but they're like, we'll feed some people. And then the Israelis triple tapped their convoy where it was like, they hit it once and then the survivors got out and they got in a second car. Then they hit it again and the survivors got out and got in the third car. And then they hit that and killed seven people. And, um, three of them were like former British military, possibly special forces who were doing security. One of them was a, um, Canadian U S dual citizen who was, a uh, uh, former Canadian military, like they're just described as military in like, in like an article I saw on CNN, which indicates like some of them were probably ex special forces, but you know, it's weird where it's like, those guys are just very connected to the British and American and Canadian military establishment and Israel still like murdering them. Mm -hmm. And you know, they murdered the Palestinian driver. They murdered an Australian woman who was an aid worker. They murdered a Polish woman or Polish man who was also an aid worker. These people were just trying to give out meals. But the objective was very clear because the World Central Kitchen cut off deliveries to Gaza for the foreseeable. And lots of other aid organizations are like, we, we can't go in right now because the Israelis are fucking rabid dogs. They'll kill us. Mm-hmm. And it's like, this is the objective. They want to starve people to the point where they're like, we'll leave, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. They want them out so they can take the territory. Are they letting anybody leave? It is crazy that they're, they're also settling um, Gaza right now, right? There's yeah. People like from uh, from like New Jersey that are like ready to go in and live there. Well, yeah, there've been interviews with like I think 500 Israelis. More than that, there's like a waiting list of people who are like, as soon as the Israeli government tells us we're in there and we're gonna set up, mm-hmm. and they're just hanging around, you know, Tel Aviv or wherever, waiting for the call. Yeah. Um, how could you feel safe living? You're the dumbest people ever. That's that's my issue with them. It's like they believe that Palestinians are dangerous, but then they want to live right on the border and take all their shit. It's like, well, then where are they going to, like, if they were to fight back again, where would they start? Just well, I think Rich move. Voss just has a different... <laughs> different mindset. Different mindset than us. <laughs> yeah. Dude, Voss living there would rule so hard. <laughs> yeah. Um. The first pasta dinner comedy show. <laughs> in yeah. Gaza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gaza, that's a nice place if you're a chalk outline. <laughs> <laughs> this joke's 30 years old. <laughs> yeah, he's just using like LA riot jokes for Palestinians yeah. now. Yeah. White people are crazy. They pay taxes. <laughs> We've heard this before. <laughs> um, yeah, but um, no, it's got a lot of attention but it doesn't seem like it's changed anything yet mm-hmm. um, in terms of conditioning USAID or any of that, yeah. recognition of a Palestinian state. Yeah. It's always eventually, eventually. And then it's like they are sending aid in, but it feels very just kind of like uh, symbolic. Like, Well, that. yeah, I guess, and today the Israelis said they're opening up this crossing from Egypt so more uh, aid can get in. Mm-hmm. But it's something where... Again, these are all just PR moves. Mm-hmm. Like they can, and they they have a sort of unofficial army of psycho Israelis who are protesting and like blocking the roads so mm-hmm. no aid can get in. Mm-hmm. And these people are operating with the tacit encouragement of the Israeli government. Mm-hmm. Like 
it, it's just a very classic. T- and this is what they do with their settlers in the West Bank, too, where these people are officially not part of the Israeli government, but they are achieving the objectives of the Israeli government with plausible deniability. And um, so they'll find another way to blockade. And it, it's something where, like, Biden, it, it leaked that the Biden White House, they've been told that, like, liter- at this point, dozens of children under five are dying every day of hunger. And that will only get worse and accelerate. And even if you, like, had a ceasefire right now, it's to the point where a lot of people would keep dying until you could, like, really ramp up aid, which is why it was so horrifying that the, you know, the Israelis tortured people uh, from who worked for this uh, UN refugee agency and then got them to say, oh, we were involved in October 7th. And then that became a big news story, and the U.S. government defunded this agency. And it's just... It's just completely baseless, but it's the, – the thing is this UN agency, they employ over 30,000 Palestinians. So nobody – there's no existing organization that can get aid there at the speed and scale except for them. And they just – you know, they, I think they got $40 million from the U.S. government last year, and they're going to get no money from the U.S. government. And so far, nobody's kind of filled the gap, and, uh, you know, they're targeted. They can't really – they can't really deliver the aid they need, and it's a. Uh, I don't really know what to say about it. It's a very <laughs> horrifying situation that I've been kind of despairing about. Yeah. The thing about the kids starving, you are right in terms of when people start starving, there's that weird thing your body does where then you're, you can't even have food or you throw it up. Um, people who are dehydrated, they have to go to the hospital and you put a needle in your arm because you can't just drink water. You start yeah. purging water yeah. because you haven't <clears throat> had water. Yeah. So even when these people get things, it's like, yeah, their health is still shot to shit and they like they need to be hooked up to IVs. Yeah. 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 If you're a child and you're growing and you're malnourished, it fucks you up for life, basically. I mean, depending on the severity, but yeah. Yeah. Well, another news, an ice cream truck crashed into a cookie factory. <laughs> Scott, you want to t- <laughs> take it there? <laughs> take it away? <clears throat> <laughs> oh, I, I should have been clear. It's the United Nations Relief Works Agency for Palestine Refugees in the Near East, or UNRWA. Mm-hmm. You, you see that acronym, UNRWA, a yeah, lot. Yeah, yeah. Bum business. Um, yeah. Well, does somebody want to watch me blow a balloon out with my asshole? <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry, I said $40 million. It was $400 million is how much the U.S. gave it last year. Okay. And they're saying no more money till the middle of 2025. Okay. And where are we putting that money? Um, we're helping Ukraine. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're, uh, we're buying Netanyahu's wife a new condo. Mm -hmm. We're building super jails. That super jail, that's in Chinatown, New York City. Yeah, that's right. The jail scraper. Jail scraper. The New York is going to have the tallest jail in the world. It's pretty cool. Okay. In Chinatown? Yeah, it's in Chinatown. And they're they're building it right now. Uh, no, they're de- they're demolishing the old one, uh, the Manhattan Detention Center. Mm-hmm. Um, and where is that? Is that in Chinatown? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, oh, wow. or it's near China. Yeah, yeah. I don't know about uh, building a giant skyscraper that is a jail. I like the skyline as is. It's already, uh, a, you know, a um, a dystopian skyline. I don't think we need we need that. What do you think? <laughs> We could put uh, we, we could put we could put the owners of Stand Up New York in it. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, they're doing shows at like a bar now. Are they? Yeah, or a restaurant. Yeah, yeah, dude, that's good. They, yeah, they they always find a way. Yeah, no, I guess it just feels like there's not. I don't know what else to. I don't know what else to say. I watched uh, Hillary Clinton go on Jimmy Fallon and uh, say that. Uh, she said that if you if you don't want to vote for Joe Biden, you should get over yourself because yeah. that's those are the choices. And he like you know giggled along. I said, I hope this guy drinks himself to death. Yeah, that's she, my. She, I guess that's my take. She talks to everybody like they're kids, like they're in the kids. Back of her car, like, like we're kids yeah, like she's car. driving a car and yeah. we're not stopping here. Yeah, get over it. Yeah, she's awful. She's awful. Yeah, she don't know what she's saying. 
Yeah. And Jimmy Fallon is just sitting there. Why do they have He's these just people the, on? I don't At know. What that's point a great, do they go like, great question. hey, actually, the country hates these people. Remember when when Johnny Carson had like a guy with monkeys yeah. on the show? Yes, yeah. bring that back. Yeah. Or have the politician on, but there, there has to be monkeys climbing on them mm -hmm. the whole time. Mm -hmm. Hillary should have had to deal with a crocodile while she was talking. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Get over it while she's putting her head inside an alligator's mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Did it seem like thir like 40, 50 years ago, uh, late night TV was was so intertwined with politics? It mm. seems like these shows are so political now and so much a part of the uh, the Democratic Party machine. Mm. Yeah, I agree with that. I don't know. Johnny Carson used to put on a turban and like... Through his little desk pieces. Yeah, read the. It just, it, it just, it's just so sickening to watch him like giggle along with her and not even challenge it a little bit. Not even be like, well, what about the people who are concerned about what's happening? You know, of course she's going to say, oh, you know, Hamas, 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 the rapes, blah, blah, blah. Hmm. But, it, but you can't even, you can't even challenge that narrative a little bit. Makes me sick. I, I really hope he drinks himself to death. When Jimmy Fallon pet Donald Trump's hair. Yeah. 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 Everyone got mad about that. And then he was like, I'm so sorry. And I'm sorry for doing blackface, too. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> he's fucking slime ball. <laughs> These people are just... He is, like, very devoid of um, yeah. entertainment value at this point. I don't know. I, I don't envy his life. No, I feel like it, it all got, like, sucked out of him um, a yeah. long while ago. Yeah. yeah. It must be a very... I think, he, like, I feel like even to write for that show must be a very empty existence. Because even, like, his upbeat... You go, what the hell am I doing? You know when you go, like, I gotta turn it on, I gotta be happy and upbeat, right? Yeah, his right. turn it on, happy Like what people upbeat. do with this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's so fucking... And they got, like, one joke. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, like, fucking fraudulent. You go, I wouldn't want to be that kind of happy and upbeat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy stinks. Yeah. But. Yeah. I tried this new joke yesterday. I said, uh, you know, I, I hate when people say that Muslims are violent. Because mm. if you, like, read the Quran, there's, like, a lot of good stuff in there, you mm -hmm. know? Like, really positive stuff that, that they like a lot. And if you have a problem with it, like, they'll kill you. But, like, that's how I feel about the show The King of Queens. <laughs> that's a great joke. That, that's is it? very funny. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I go, whenever I look at the top 100 sitcoms of all time. That's funny, Yeah. 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 I go, why isn't King of Queens on here, you elitist? That's great. Pieces of garbage. I got a joke. I didn't say uh, something about, like, uh, Havana Syndrome. Uh, what's that, a, a Down Syndrome guy on vacation? Is that funny? Do people say that yet? Uh, what is that, a retarded guy in a Hawaiian shirt and s snorkels? Um, Snorkel? I, would keep, I would keep playing <laughs> with it, keep working with it. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know, Havana Syndrome causes brain damage. They, like, studied the people who it's happened to. It's a real thing where they're, like, focusing energy on your brain mm. and making you um, dumb. Your brain doesn't work anymore. Yeah. Yeah, they did it to know. Kamala Harris for a little bit. Really? That's not a bit. They really did. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I don't know anything about that. Yeah, because they're afraid to talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I guess we got to find the bright spots in the world. <laughs> yeah, that's you true. Know? Did you see Larry David uh, assault Elmo on television? No, I didn't. Well, I saw that months ago, but this week some puppeteer came out, and I guess was it months piece. ago? Yeah, it was like two months ago, right? Was it two months ago? It feels like well, because the 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 it was so funny. Curb finale is this Sunday, and I think he was promoting the start of the season. Yeah, yeah, and now the finale is this Sunday. Oh, okay, so. okay. You, yeah, that's you grab a doll and you shake it because it's that's funny. The funniest. That's the funniest thing that anyone's ever done. Yeah. And then the, he goes, my hand was there. Yeah. Well, it's it, first of all, him doing that was so brilliant because it's like you when you do comedy the right way, it does make some people mad. It did make a lot of people like upset, like like uh, Anna Navarro on The View was like, mm. that was disgusting that he did that to, to, to Elmo. <laughs> I was outraged. <laughs> it's like, shut up. You oh, fat, Sesame Street taught her English. Up, fat pig. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. right. Uh, and you go, okay, okay, piggy. But, um, <laughs> but <laughs> the fact that because he was like annoyed at Elmo, <laughs> he was annoyed at Elmo and he went and shook him. Yeah. And then walked away. Well, because it was that week that Elmo was tweeting. There was like uh, oh, a yeah, two week yeah. period. Right, right, right. Where Elmo was like, how is everybody? How is everybody? And then people were like <laughs> responding to Elmo and they were yeah. like, this is a beautiful moment. Yeah. And it's an embarrassing moment. And so yeah. Larry David treated it like that. Yeah. 
He said, this is actually corny. And I went to Target three days ago, and there's a T-shirt with Elmo's tweet on it. Really? That tweet. It's Elmo, and it says, Elmo wants to know how you're doing. They're making money off of it. What is happening? Why off is of everybody our depression? Why? Why is everybody? It's like we're gonna do a genocide, and also you're you have to be a baby. Yeah, dude. We're oh, Steve from Blues Clues. He just like turns on his phone. He goes, "I'll listen," and then he sits there. Oh, and acts, did, you see, did you see that? He acts no. like you're complaining oh, yeah. to him. He goes, he goes, yeah. Steve from Blues Clues goes, "I'm just checking in. How are you, how are you doing?" And he acts like you're he's listening to you. Yeah, and then you got to sit there. And I guess some people talk to him. Somebody on Twitter was like, if you talked back, you're two steps away from <laughs> schizophrenia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, Steve, we liked the dog, by the way. Yeah, we yeah, yeah. We yeah. got locked out of the fucking house. <laughs> like, we just wished that the dog could feed itself yeah, and you yeah, weren't yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were kind of hoping Blue and Magenta would turn on you. Yes. Yeah. I was always jealous of like how him. well he could figure out the drawing. It was always oh, yeah. very simple and exact. That's a very difficult thing. It probably wasn't uh -huh. him. It was like another man's hand. Right. But that's a skill. Yeah. He also looks pretty good. He looks, you know, he's aging well. He does. He does. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was a wrap for him. But what the hell is happening to this? Every yeah, everybody's a baby. Yeah. Well, we were raised on television, and some people can't. Like I know, you know, wrestling, right? Mm -hmm. WrestleMania is this weekend, mm -hmm. and I don't put on wrestling as like background noise much anymore mm. like old wrestling mm -hmm. but the other day i did i was like oh peacock and i did and i just let it play in the background an old wrestlemania mm -hmm. and it did make the background noise made me feel safe mm -hmm. i was like oh this is why i watch wrestling mm -hmm. because it drowned out the yelling mm -hmm. on monday nights mm -hmm. and i think that's a lot of people yeah they're like the last time i felt safe was when steve was talking to me and i was right. five right and it was like a fake woman getting put through a table instead of the real, <laughs> real woman getting put through a table <laughs> yeah, in, yeah. in your, in your house. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But the hazards are real, and I was like, they are, <laughs> they are real. Yeah, yeah. What are we? Thirty minutes into this one? Why? Probably. Are you complaining? Are you, you having shit? You <laughs> no, shit? I, I want to dump it. <laughs> you want to dump the whole episode? Of course, you want to. You want to give up? Can't dump the whole. What is? You can't it? dump the whole episode. We can't. Well, we can't just come in and be sad about Gaz and bum everybody <laughs> out. Well, that's I mean, the problem. I want to try again. Yeah, uh, be in a better mood. Well, no. you can't bum us out for thirty minutes. <laughs> I'm trying to turn this fucking show around. No, you guys are fine. But no, we're all very. I mean, it's fine. You're, you're right. We're all very bummed out. It's you know, it's it's always a toss up on the show whether we're going to talk about it or not because I I don't I don't have anything. I don't anything, know what's funny about it. Well, I don't. Nothing's think nothing's funny about it. I, Except, I mean, I guess we could make fun of my Israeli landlord that I hope I would love to do October 7th on, his family. I don't even think um, the mood is because of Israel. Uh, it's because of the solar eclipse on Monday. I think oh, we're all obviously... Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've noticed even my rich friends are being... They're act, everyone's acting like they're down Wait, on Wait, Sean, this will make or, you happy. This will make yeah. you happy. Yeah. Last Saturday night, I kicked like six white women out of... <laughs> Out of your Mark's show. Comedy Club. <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah. How? Uh, there was a girl there. Johnny was there, but Johnny didn't see it happen. But um, uh, she was being a real problem. She was very. She was pretty attractive. Did you see what? She, did you see her in the beginning of the show? Pretty attractive girl. She's there with a guy. They're I off. Hate, the I hate her already. I know. Yeah, she's <laughs> made my Go blood ahead. made my blood boil. Um, but she was like a little. She was like a little loud. There's a bartender that works there. That's like a nice guy, but he's not really like with it mentally you know so he comes back and he's like oh yeah there's this girl out out there she's really hot <laughs> oh she's kind of loud but she's like uh she's like probably here to have a good time this guy is like wrong about every like it's this guy is wrong about every single thing that he Wait, says he wanted to keep her in the showroom because she was attractive she got like she was like a problem like you know when people are a problem of course yeah sean this will put a smile on your face uh -huh. she's a problem this guy this so the guy comes back and he's like Oh yeah, this girl's got a nice a nice pair on her, but she's uh, you know, she's like a kind of a party animal. <laughs> 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 this guy's so funny because like we were talking about my special. He's an, he's a nice guy. He, yeah. you know, he like works at the club and I think he does comedy. He's yeah. like, "Oh yeah, you put out a special. That's great." He's like, "Yeah, I got some half hours on YouTube, but uh I don't I I, I got him set on private. I'm not trying to give it away for free." <laughs> It's just so funny to watch somebody be like so confidently wrong, yeah. and I don't. I'm not around him as much, but Johnny works. At the, he's at the club every night, so hmm. I see Johnny always like rolling his eyes when this guy talks. We can say that, right? Okay. So um, 
So he's like, oh, yeah, this girl's really hot, but she's loud. <laughs> I'm like, okay, great. So this 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 comic goes up. She heckles him. I forget what she says. Did you see Santiago's uh, set? So she's like, uh, she's making noise during his set. And he's like, uh, all right, whatever. You know, it's like this weird thing where it's like, it's 2024. You can't, you can't uh, yell at these women. You can't, you don't want to, you don't want to, you want to be, have some grace, you know? Sure. Maybe she's having a tough time. Maybe she's uh, on the rag or whatever. (laughs) But, uh, so she kind of heckles him. He has like this very weird interaction, you know? Because it's like a, a, a thing where, you know, that women hecklers do where it's like hostile, but not, it's like, what's that? She told him he wasn't funny. Yo, women yeah. will do that They'd shit. They'd love to do that. You yeah. know what else women do and men do not because they know it's a confrontation? Mm-hmm. Women will go, get off the stage. Yeah. That happened uh, last Friday at really? fucking Soul Joel's for me. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I mean, I was, I was bombing. It was uh, totally my fault. Was it a Lewis show? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I... I some people, oh, no, I wasn't a bomb, but I... Yeah. I you, to you, it was. Yeah. You know what did Lewis do well? I think he did. I'm sure he did. Yeah. yeah. I was so mad at myself. I just went into the green room pissed. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, but I was pass I, I was passing a kidney stone. I wasn't doing well, oh, and yeah. I was mad. And yeah. e- eventually, at like the twenty minute mark, like, yeah. like get off the stage. And I didn't 20. say anything. That's so. That's such wanna, a long like, time. You want to throw the mic at her head yeah. and just watch. Boom. Yeah. You want to hear a noise. Yeah. Yeah. That's such a long time to be on stage. <laughs> oh yeah, for get, then to someone get, to be like, get, get off, off. Now. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. And that's what where it was like. I think she was also being like, you're doing too long. Like, I, there was, you're the opener. Yeah. Why are you still here? Yeah, there yeah. was that feeling too of like, and also she's yeah. actually asking if the show can continue because she didn't yeah. come here for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was just like, Ooh! I was like shaking. She I was didn't come mad, here for you. Dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm also a bitch. Like, uh, dude, I had, I, it's it's a visual podcast for some people. I had like this much wine. Uh, uh-huh. Yesterday and I got drunk. Okay. On wine. Okay. So I I drink tequila sometimes now. Yeah. And uh, but I don't drink expensive tequila. Yeah. And then there was the most. Ex- what's the most expensive one? Don something or whatever the Don hell. Don Perignon. No, that's, <laughs> I a think that's a champagne. That's a water. Oh, that's not a water. Don Pedro. Whatever. I don't know. Yeah. Man, I like couldn't find wor- you know you know like when you I don't know when I get buzzed I'm just like dear diary and I just tell you why I'm sad and uh-huh. I was like why are you doing this. Uh huh. And so that's what happened. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah. Anyway, your story. Just so she uh, so she gets into it with, with this guy Santiago. Who, uh, and then so the so the, the guy who was hosting the show comes up to me. He's like, I'm gonna do some time between, you know, between uh sets. I go, Yeah, tell a joke, reset the room, whatever. So um so I'm on stage and I'm doing my act and I'm just kind of like going through my act and I can feel this like I can feel her energy. I could feel her kind of say something to her boyfriend. She was pretty hot, definitely in her early, early twenties, early to mid twenties. Um, but I can feel that I can just feel this like hostile energy off to my, my right. And then I said like, not a rape joke, but, but I do this joke where I go, uh, I go, yeah, there was, uh, there's a comedian, there's a therapist in New York city that sees a lot of comedians and, uh, he, he'll talk about his other clients, but you always know who he's talking about. Like, he'll be like, I see this one guy, and he's got a lot of anxiety because he's been accused of rape 17 times. <laughs> and I go, well, that's Greg. You know. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. yeah. And so, like, and so, like, then she goes, she goes, whatever. Like, audibly, she goes, whatever. Like, okay, you're not really listening. You're not really listening to the joke. Anyway, long story short, um, I go, uh, I do a couple more jokes. I go, is there like, are you okay? Do you have a problem? And she's like, yeah, bad comedians. Whoa, she's dropping bombs. She's dropping bombs, yeah. She's, Ooh, she's IDF in your ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she goes, uh, so I'm like, all right, I think you should just leave if you're not having a good time. Like, if you're not enjoying yourself, you should leave because you're ruining, you're ruining the show for everybody else and everyone else is trying to enjoy the show. And the crowd doesn't, like, back me up. They don't clap. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're like, hey, she's a lady, mister. Yeah. Wow. No, and literally there was another. So she's off to the side. There's another group of girls in the front. And I go, don't you guys want her to leave? And this one, this, 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 this <laughs> woman in the front row, this girl in the front row goes, goes, well, it is still Women's History Month. I'm like, oh, okay, so that's, so that's where we're at. Like Women's History Month means you can act like a, like an asshole. You can come to a public place and act like an asshole. Yeah. Um, so I was like, yeah, okay, but you guys, you guys want her to leave. And then finally this guy in the front row goes, yeah, she's been talking through the whole show. She's been ruining the show. I go, all right, so you guys should like get out of here. I'm like, you and your cuck boyfriend should get out of here. But I didn't, but I said, I said you and your cuck boyfriend, but I didn't like 
look the guy in the eyes because I'm such a coward. Sure. You know? I, and I'm not, I don't like that, those kind of confrontations. I really <laughs> hate them. And I can't fight. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just, I'm just like a, you and know, you're shaking at this. I'm point. just like a little pussy with a microphone. <laughs> yeah. I'm not. I'm you guys not. need to leave. And he was. I think he was like bigger than me. I go, but I go. You and your cuck boyfriend who can't control his. Uh, you know. Oh, that's a tough. Who can't yeah. control his woman should leave. I don't know if I said that on stage. Well, so then they Webb's leave. The control they part leave, is yeah. They leave, and then four those the four other girls in the front row they get up and leave too. I'm like, where are you guys going? And this one girl goes, yeah, too many rape jokes. <laughs> I go, I told one. <laughs> <laughs> I told one. I go, it was one. And they're walking out of the room. I go, I go, That's all right. Great. I'm like, I go, I go, bye. I'm like, Barney's next door. If you guys want, if you guys don't want to be in a comedy club. <laughs> and then I went and hid in the green room. Yeah, furiously. Yeah. But they left. But it felt good. It just felt good to make that decision to be like, you're a problem. Get out. Not try to like entertain <sighs> them or, you know? Yeah. No, it is hard to handle a heckler that, that type of heckler. Yeah. Because how do you combat? You tell them to leave. Strict they have to leave. Yeah. If That's somebody, why like Daniel Tosh, remember there was that Daniel Tosh controversy where yeah. he was just like, wouldn't it be funny if this lady got raped? Because you, you really don't know what to say to someone who's, who's hurting your feelings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> or, or who's genuinely like upset. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Joe Rogan said it. That's kind of, that is kind of the comedian thing to say. What? Wouldn't it be funny if five guys came in here? And <laughs> That's not the comedian it, thing to it's say. It's like what you say in the moment to kind of cut the tension. No, I think no? I understand it coming out of a person's mouth because they're frustrated, but that's not even funny. You know what I because mean? Because she's upset. <laughs> <laughs> right? Inside the comic studio. Yeah. No, she's feeling vulnerable. And but so that's like the unexpected thing. But then what do yeah. you do? What do you do? Go like, oh, I'm so sorry, ma'am. No, you, you know? definitely don't say sorry to her. You, you, I don't know. You diagnose her, you know? Yeah. Like a therapist would, but funny, uh -huh. I guess. That's what you would do? No, I call people cunts. I'm wrong too, though. Yeah. Yeah, I, I snap. Remember that girl that like Soder? This was a long time ago, but Soder was dating some girl. Mm -hmm. And um, I was at an open, this was a long, long time ago. And um, I was at an open mic and some girl was being an absolute bitch at it. She was like drunk, talking to her and everybody said. Was I there? Yeah, I think so. I called her a cunt. I like flipped out on her. And then I went to cabin that Thursday and she walks up to me holding Dan Soder. Mm -hmm. And she like drags him to me and she's like this is the guy who called me a cunt on Monday <laughs> and then Dan went I, I knew I liked you <laughs> and that's how I met Dan that's the first time I met Dan Soder oh yeah he said I knew I liked you and then we shook hands oh. and I didn't say anything about why she was a problem but yeah she was yeah nice yeah dude well RIP to that girl because <laughs> Soder doesn't leave leave him alive <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no but that's such an annoying response oh it's still women's history month like what does Women's History Month mean to you? It used to be about Amelia Earhart and Helen Keller, <laughs> not not some dumbass who can yeah who can call me a bad comedian at a at a, at a show. Yeah. You know, one hundred percent. We're celebrating. Um, I can't think of any other female scientist, but what Marie Curie. <laughs> Women's History Month is about yeah, what Susan, did Marie Susan do? B. Anthony. She did uh, radiation. Yeah, she died of cancer pretty young. Yeah. She discovered radiation. She discovered radiation. What do you mean you discover? Don't like comets have radiation on no, them? No, she discovered. Yeah. Well, she probably harnessed it, figured out where it was. Hmm. Don't disrespect Marie Curie. On no, you show. ever hear that thing that like the Ark Don't of the Covenant is real and it's somewhere, but all it is is ra it's just like a big ball of radioactive shit from outer space yeah yeah how do you dis I, I just don't understand how you discover radiation i don't know scott but there's probably like a, an answer yeah <laughs> well you do lab experiments and then you and she did it on her scott i gotta tell radiation you know, gave her cancer you know yeah. after about two years of doing this podcast with you <laughs> i'm gonna say that science is not your strong suit <laughs> Yeah, I don't know anything about <laughs> science. And your 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 instincts are right, are good about a lot of stuff, but with science, I think they're not. No, well, no, except there. the, and I know what you're implying here, and we both know me and Sean are right about this, and mm -hmm. people are dying every day because of it. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I am mostly wrong about science. Who died? What are their names? I don't know where the planets are. 
Yeah. Um, my whole family died from the vaccine. <laughs> 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 my whole family died from it. I saw someone post today and they were like, other than the deaths and the, pr- yeah. and the health issues, let's all also acknowledge that everyone who got the vaccine is missing a bit of their spirit. Your sister <laughs> took the vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> That's what someone said. They were like, there's something in their eyes that is missing. Yeah. That's fun. Your sister took the vaccine and drove her car off a bridge <laughs> just to prove a point. Yeah. She live streamed it. <laughs> she got roid rage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know what's funny is Deb's cousin is like this uh, eh, nice guy, but pretty, pretty dumb guy. He, he was a para for the DOE. So he like, it's like somebody who follows around like a special needs kid. That was his job. Mm-hmm. So he was like very adamant about not taking the vaccine and going to protest and everything. Know. Like, and, um, and, so he like uh he's like i'm not gonna take the vaccine and then he like made a video one night he and this is like a very stupid guy but he's he's in a, this motherfucker's in a in a walgreens parking lot and he's like hey everybody i'm here um doing something very much this is also a guy who like decided he wanted to be gay when he was like 36 <laughs> he like had a wife and a kid but now he's a homosexual I have he's an like, uncle like that. Really? Yeah, I got like a, well, I guess he's a new enough uncle, but he had a family before he mm. met my uncle. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, your your mom's, yeah, brother. My mom's brother's gay. Yeah, yeah. And he's got a husband now. Yeah. Who had a family. You got to respect gay guys who can do that. Yeah. Dude, you know? it's like, you know how hard it is to sit there and go like, okay, am I going to leave my family? Yeah. Am I going to pull the trigger? Yeah. But then it's like, am I going to leave my family and tell them I'm dating Robert, right? That's wild. That's you, gotta, you probably do it in steps. You think so? You go, hey, I met I met a woman named Roberta. <laughs> she has really big tits. <laughs> and then you, yeah, you just have into anyway. So he's in a he's in a parking lot. And he's like doing a front facing camera video, and he's like um, doing something very much uh, against my will. Um, but I have to do it. Uh, you will never, um, for, to the DOE, you'll, I'll never forgive you for what you made us do. And, um, yeah, I'm going to get the vaccine. <laughs> and the, 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 the liberal in me was like, that's right, bitch. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> get your Fauci ouchie. <laughs> we broke your will. Uh, so, yeah, that's what's happening hmm. over there. What else, uh... What else? What else is going on? I don't really know, man. Yeah. No. We always, the thing is with this show, we have to make a choice every episode where if we're going to do Israel or not Israel. Yeah. <laughs> I think we <laughs> fucked up today. No, we didn't fuck up. No way. You're, you're so hard on yourself. No, I do not want to Pod- release this episode. Come on. Dude, but, it's, it's but the we, one to we release. We did 40 dude. fucking minutes already. <laughs> yeah. You want to do it on, put it on Patreon? I guess. Yeah. What? No. No. Maybe. No. No. We did 40 minutes. Let them... Here, Johnny will fix it in the, in the description. He'll be like, the first 30 minutes are sad. They're garbage. Yeah. No, <laughs> not garbage. People want to talk about this stuff. I just... I, I get... Fr- I, I, it bums me out because I feel like there's nothing else that's left to say. Everything's so normalized. No, it's... but We were know. debating back in October if, the, if they bomb the hospital or not, and now it's like, oh, yeah, they bomb hospitals. Yeah. You know, right? Oh, and not uh, not only hospital. not only do they bomb hospitals, they go and they massacre people inside the hospital. Yeah, they shoot people who are getting aid packages. That video came out today. Yeah, you know, people going out to get food parcels. One guy got shot. To, you know, they just shot. He's just going out there to get food. He's starving to death. Yeah, they shoot him, leave him to die, get eaten by dogs. I unfollowed someone who I did consider kind of a close friend hmm. because she was like, "If you're going to compare Jews to Nazis." kindly fuck off right now. And I said, all right, unfollow. Well, how much coke was Micah Fox on when she said that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But uh, uh, she can fit a lot in that nose. Jesus. Um, <laughs> trying to save the episode. I know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, nah, I don't but know. But he's so, he's so quick to be like, this is a bad episode. I want to kill myself. Oh, I know, I know. You know? Sometimes we got to dig ourselves out of the hole. We told that story about the women that we kicked out it's of the... better. Yeah. I don't know. You, you know when it's a good show. episode, though. And I feel like... Yeah, but if it's not right away, you yeah, can't, I think it got, you can't I think start, it got like, there. kicking yourself in the dick. Yeah, it's a cold day. The car had to warm up. You feel me? <laughs> the car had to warm up. The car had up. to warm up before we drove off. Didn't yeah. want to fuck up anything. This is like... It's like when you have sex with your wife, and she's like, you have to do, like, 20 minutes of foreplay. <laughs> 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 foreplay is you just, know? like, picking up socks around the room. 
Yeah. Foreplay's picking up socks around the room, cleaning the toilet. <laughs> then you got a shower because you got toilet residue on your on your body and you can't track it in the bed. You know, <laughs> things like that. So don't let's not get down on ourselves. Yeah. Um, well, we could talk about the jail scraper. What's that? The yeah, we, I brought it up. I brought we up we mentioned scraper. it. Yeah, but three hundred feet tall, tallest jail in the world will be potentially built in Manhattan. Okay. Yeah. Not a great look. Isn't that what we have that island for? Rikers Island. That's, That's like the, they gone wanna, to absolute shit. That, they want to get rid of Rikers Island because the bugs are eating everybody. Right? Yeah, and there's like whole sections that are controlled by gangs. <laughs> it's crazy, dude. Yeah, Rikers Island sucks. There and was like, a man who got like eaten to death by bugs there. Yeah, I mean, yeah, and like everybody who works there just like takes sick days all the time. There was there had to be a federal investigation because like the guards would constantly be under capacity because you get a job at Rikers Island, you just be like, oh, I don't feel so good. And then they see you in like four weeks or something, you know. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, uh, they're, tr- they're saying they want to close Rikers Island by 2027, but they're also saying like, and and that's what the whole idea of building this tallest jail in the world in Manhattan is, is then we can close Rikers and put people there. Mm-hmm. But now they're kind of backing off and they're saying, well, we don't know if we'll actually close Rikers by 2027. That's mm-hmm. just the goal. Yeah. And Eric Adams was like, New Yorkers, we go big or we go home and we're going to build the biggest jail <laughs> that the world has ever seen. That wasn't in racist, New was it? York. No, I don't think that was. Yeah. I just picture it getting hit by a plane and then it's inmates oh. jumping out and yeah. we all get to go. We get to enjoy it this time, actually. <laughs> this is actually cool. Yeah. And it's not offensive that we put heavy metal music to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a bunch of fair dr- jumpers and <laughs> oh no, people with right. like weed convictions. Yeah, they did nothing. Tonight we all about to dance like the Israelis because <laughs> the jail. Is that anything? That's good, yeah. Is that anything? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Wait, I, oh, I found the most uh, New York Post headline. Okay. Okay, it's uh, New York Post. Landlord of NYC migrant squatter house claims gun-toting drug dealers scammed him. He now <laughs> fears for his life. <laughs> the landlord of a Bronx squatter house where eight gun-toting migrants allegedly peddled drugs. Dude, we should just cover the, what's in the New York Post. <laughs> I know, the New York Post is Let's bad. just read the New York Post. We should just <clears throat> mort solve this, for the New York Post. Yes. We've fixed the podcast. Yes. No more geopolitical, you know, crime. It's it's fine to talk about it. I yeah. just, you know, I feel like I I did it in my Instagram story today. Right. If someone was squatting at your place, what would you do? Um. Well, you can't do anything because New York laws. Yeah. Benefit drug toting or gun toting drug dealing migrants. I, I've I've noticed that squatting is in the news. Is obviously it's real. Has it been this bad like the whole time? And now they're choosing to scare us more with it. Well, that's the quote. Uh, Quote, the, the property owner told the New York Post Wednesday he was left helpless to evict the migrant crew because of pro-squatter laws as the bullets as the bullies refused to pay and brought chaos and noise to the block. Mm-hmm. So these pro-squatter laws, yeah, they are in the news. Yeah. And um, I don't know. I think if you stay in a house for 30 days, you have a right to keep it. Yeah. <laughs> Out of your mind. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Yeah, I think you should be allowed to shoot people who refuse to leave your house. <laughs> I, I don't know. You would say that. What the fuck you're is a house? A, you're, you're what oppressor. is actually a house other than if you come in it and I don't let you, I get to kill you? Like, why the fuck does anyone own a house? Well, it's more complicated than that. <laughs> no, it's not. These we do need to protect. Go. We do need to protect. I'll renters. say this. When the cops get there, I understand why the cops are confused. I understand that these people are presenting paperwork and that renting a place and staying in a place is complicated. And you have to say, hey, everybody, we got to figure this out. Yeah. And it's not going to get solved today. I understand because a lot of people are going, how are the cops not just kicking these people out? Mm-hmm. But you, the homeowner, if you know it is your place, how, how are we not like swinging a baseball bat at these people? Well, that's, this is your house. That was the big story. Is some woman because they're or, gang members, Scott. You're gonna swing a baseball bat at a gang member? Yeah, I'm gonna call my uncles and we're gonna go. We gotta kill these guys. Your gay you uncle, and you're gonna let you're gonna and, call your you, you should. I don't your own kid property. I don't I'm care. Just, okay, if you that's not how things work, Scott. They can't come property, into my apartment. I don't care. They can't come what into kind my of apartment. Weak br- Brooklyn living shit is that? I don't own I don't property. Own I don't property. care. <laughs> I'm not a homeowner. If I if, if I was were. a homeowner, I'll never be a homeowner. So it's not something I think about. This is this maybe is. I would feel differently if I was a homeowner, dude. Describe. But but uh, 
You know, I think that if you're a renter, there's a lot of laws on the books that are actually on your side. Most of the of the housing laws are on your side. You're allowed to use your security deposit as a last month's uh, rent. Oh, I didn't um, know that. Yeah, no. it's perfectly legal to do that. They don't really want it. that's a that's a thing where you go. It's not really fair. You know, when I was trying to get my security deposit back a couple years ago, you were like, I was like, that guy owes me money because it's been fourteen days, and you were like, yeah, but that's kind of unfair, don't you think? And then I didn't pursue it. I kind of wish I did. I kind of well, wish you were a little un- more. What I kinda, did I say was unfair? I kind of because there's a law that says if they don't give you an itemized list mm-hmm. of damages within fourteen days. Yeah. They forfeit your security deposit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he waited more than, you mm-hmm. know, I kind of dragged it out. And then you were like, yeah, but that seems a little unfair, doesn't it? And I went, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it is. What did I and say? I I'm wish still not you were a little you. bit What did more. I say was unfair? You said it was unfair to my landlord that he has to forfeit my security deposit. There's no way I said that. Yeah, you did. You totally you misheard unfair. me. I was saying it's unfair that you're not getting your security Johnny, deposit. Johnny, please find that episode. Yeah, find it's that anywhere episode between that episode, didn't happen. It's anywhere between episode 9 and 63. Does you, why would I? All landlords should give back their security deposits, unless you fucked up the place, which you didn't. I did. There were some damages. Oh, you ruined the floor. The completely. floor. Yeah, but he wanted to charge <laughs> me. his dying dog. My dying piss dog. Piss on it. It's final floor. year of its life. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and look, now you're taking the landlord's side. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, he wanted to charge me for like almost the entire the entire floor getting refinished. Yeah. I said, get get out of here, you fucking wop. <laughs> and then you said, well, fourteen the fourteen day thing that seems a little unfair. I know it's recorded. I'm gonna find it. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, um, but but anyway, I wish you were a little more. This guy would let a I bunch, a bunch, a little of, more a bunch of gang members. I'm not gonna sleep let gang members in their bedroom. They're Venezuelan migrants. They're Venezuelan they're migrants. Actually, they're here to work, Scott. <laughs> they're they're fleeing they're socialism. Clean, they're here to clean our studio, actually. Son's place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're they're here to they're here to take your job at the slaughterhouse. <laughs> they're already there working with me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're your coworkers. Yeah, a gang member is not going to just come into your house, your apartment. No, I agree. I don't think a gang member is. But, but this is, is what's happening. The thing is, our brains story. aren't our brains aren't cooked by like mainstream media. Mm-hmm. But like everything, I I feel like everything is a ploy to get TikTok banned because <laughs> because. On TikTok is where they're talking about Israel Palestine. That's right. Yeah, dude. That's so right. every so so they're going, migrants are telling you where to squat. Migrants are saying that how to how to steal your homes. They're teaching you on TikTok. Yeah, yeah. Because they want all, our, my parents and my grandparents yeah. to go TikTok. They're learning migrants are learning how to sneak in the country on on TikTok. I agree with that. I and agree with all, that. all it is is they want they want nineteen year olds to stop saying that Israel's bad. Yeah, that feels real. That's the only place, our podcast and TikTok are the only places where people are saying free Palestine. Mm. After the landlord called the cops on the freeloaders, uh, the squatters leered at him while drawing their fingers across their throats right in front of the police officers. (laughs) Dude, yes. (laughs) And uh, yeah, I'll I'll admit, the laws in New York City are a little, they lean towards the the renters. And that's good. Or the squad, or the the Venezuelan gang members. (laughs) Yeah. yeah. Or the members of MS-13 who are playing playing PlayStation in your basement. Yeah, it's like 25 strikes. Bill. Strikes are out. I mean, I'm city. sure it's very bad. It's not fun for a homeowner. I'll never be a homeowner. Um, I'm sure I will feel differently, dude. Yeah, I it's am. like I mean, you've lived in the suburbs. It's it sucks when an animal gets in your garage. Like, imagine people in your living room. What yeah. are we talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would ring all your neighbors' doorbells and be like. We have to jump imagine, these mother. Imagine a family of raccoons, but they're all covered in prison tattoos, <laughs> <laughs> and they've yeah. killed people, yeah, and they'll possum. kill, and they'll kill again. <laughs> and they're going like this when you call the cops. <laughs> That's such a funny story. <laughs> uh, na- neighbors said the migrants, four of whom ICE confirmed had skipped out on immigration hearings over the last two years, were part of a crew that ran a night and day drug and gun delivery operation out of the basement apartment. Uh, a lifelong neighbor, John Colby, 67 years old, said, quote, they were delivering ketamine, weed, coke, guns. It was going all day and night. Uh, but see, I don't think this is a house that the guy lives in. I think it's probably an empty property that they found. So it's like some basement I do apartment kind of, in the Bronx. Yeah, yeah, I think if you find an empty property, you know, if you, f- it's kind of like a finder's keepers type thing. No, even in Home Alone Two, the the building he went to, mm-hmm. uh, 
belonged to his, his uncle, uncle and he knew it was vacant. Mm. Well, the the landlord wouldn't give his name to the New York Post because he knows he's in the wrong. And those <laughs> yeah. Venezuelan migrant drug dealers <laughs> yeah. had every right to be there under yeah, the law. Yeah, yeah. Under the law, yeah. So shout out to <laughs> were, our heroes and shout out to our mayor, Eric Adams, our Democrat mayor. I hope Mike finally <laughs> gets a house and then he goes away like you? on the road for a little bit and he comes uh, back <laughs> and Jake Flores is eating macaroni and cheese in front of your fucking computer. Yeah, Jake Flores has been there for 31 days. Days <laughs> and it becomes a yeah. cock and ball torture studio. Yeah, they're the yeah. same guy. This room. Is why they don't like each other. Yeah, because I'll be on the road for thirty-one days. <laughs> Jake Flores squats in Mike Racine's house. I do one-nighters, guys. <laughs> I'll never get a squatter. Yeah. Jake Flores squats in Mike Racine's house for thirty-one days and he takes apart Ben's cribs and and uses all of the wood to put nails through <laughs> his penis. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you saw him and Ian arguing. I saw that. No, I would. I would probably go to jail. Yeah, of course. I'd send. I put myself directly in jail. Yeah. Yeah. No, the landlord. He says that he rented the property to an Ecuadorian lady. Quote: She had a fourteen-year-old child and a husband. It okay, so you're a fucking scumbag landlord. <laughs> Suck my dick. Okay, well, she like... brought her gang member friends over. That's the risk you run as, a, as as an investment. You don't think your your investment carries any risk? I gotta listen to this asshole acting like they're coming into your house while you're trying to read to your kids. Still owns it, and they're not. Who gives rent. a shit? Why are you, Scott? Scott, <laughs> you will also bitch. never own property. No, yeah, I'm not I a know, bitch. But I understand. That, I I, Mike, I understand. Obviously a bitch, you're pro squatter. No, like you're, I'm not pro <laughs> squatter. I understand intersectionality. I hate landlords too. I, I hate landlords too. Obviously, yeah. listen. If, Squatting listen, is bad. Excuse me. <laughs> if I buy, if I buy five million Shiba Inu coins for sure. three hundred dollars. Yes, yes. Okay, I could make ten million dollars mm -hmm. when it goes to two dollars. Yeah. Or I could it can, I could make zero. I could lose my three hundred dollars. Correct. You yeah. got to understand the risks of your investment. When you invest in real estate, maybe MS thirteen <laughs> will end up in your building. <laughs> like, what do you want? Yeah, hello. <laughs> you sh people should understand the risks. Oh man. And you know what? Maybe maybe it's a chance for you to you know learn about other cultures. <laughs> yeah, I like that idea. Yeah. You treat it like Epcot. You you're, go, this you're isn't so, so bad. You and you and Ian have this thing where you like you want to believe that I'm a cuck so bad. You want to? Hey, you're the one talking about how you're okay every with time squatting, we, and if someone but came you to have your house, this, it's not a big deal. You have this need to portray me like I'm some kind of. No, I'm you know, not. You said some like bitch I'm some shit, and then I like some, I like I'm some kind bitch. of pussy. <laughs> yeah, you said some pussy okay. shit. Yeah, <laughs> we were talking about sperm donors <laughs> on pro Stavis squatting World. is pussy shit. It just no, is. it's not. Yeah. I don't care. I, I don't know where Scott gets this idea that Mike, who can't make eye, to eye contact with the guy he calls a cuck on stage, <laughs> is some sort of pussy. <laughs> Me and Ian were talking about sperm donors on Stavi's World, and I was like, you're just a sperm donor. You're not that kid's like parent. And Ian was like, that's a cucked mindset. No, you're a but sperm a, donor. What are you talking you're about? You're a sperm donor. Yeah, yeah, you're not that kid's parent. <clears throat> I'm just saying, I think that people who uh, don't understand complex issues want to portray... Yeah people who are smarter than them. As, well, the as thing about Mike Racine is like his ability to understand complex issues <laughs> <laughs> and not get red in the face and start sweating while he's thinking about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is All what right. makes the New York Post such a great paper, though. Yeah. It's just like... Everyone who's bad is actually the victim of, of the, all of the poorest people in society. Right. Landlord victimized by migrants. MS-13 gang members yeah. are actually the... The, the perpetrators. Right. She said when they're really just trying to cut off some heads. They're just <laughs> trying, trying to, trying to and play some in Bushwick. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're just just hard to, working. Yeah. Um, they're just trying to not not wear their shirts and do push ups in the park. It was Norman Finkelstein's neighbor. That's what that note was about. <laughs> that was what that email was about. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, but the landlord says he rented to an Ecuadorian lady and she had a 14 year old child and a husband. It was a setup. I just know fear mongering when I see it. It was a setup. Oh, I think a lot of this is fear mongering. <clears throat> yeah. But I gave a hypothetical and then you acted like a bitch. You said I'd let my family get raped in front of me. No, I didn't. Said. Let's, let's, <laughs> let, let's let the anonymous landlord speak. He says this was a setup. After three weeks, she called me and say, I'm leaving the apartment and I'm going to leave it to my brother. But when he asked for documents to verify the brother, the woman allegedly stopped responding. <laughs> when he went to confront the supposed brother, he found the seven squatters in his basement. <laughs> he hasn't been collected yet. And they were there from August last year and they got evicted like the end of March this year. Yeah. 
Because that's the pro squatter law is like you can't you can't just evict them yourself. You have to you go through the court, and sometimes it takes you know a year, you can't two just, years. Um, you can't just get your two gay uncles with baseball bats. <laughs> yeah, yeah, have they, them bring they their swing them. Have them bring, bring their dildos over. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> your baseball bats smell like shit too. <laughs> <laughs> like, so okay, you're hit okay, 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 really, really. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, Holmes. The, the pro squatter. Yo, don't look, get that. <laughs> Holy shit, that got doo-doo on it! Why that baseball got doo-doo on it? <laughs> Get that doo-doo baseball bat away from my face, I say. You're fucking disgusting. <laughs> Yo, this, I'm out. I don't even want to live here anymore. <laughs> yeah, the oh, pro squatter law, you can't cut off the child's head. Yeah. <laughs> as a warning. Right. Right. All right. So, uh, in conclusion, I'm not a bitch. No, he's um, a man. Join us over on Patreon. I got a bunch of dates, road dates coming up. I'll be in Charlotte. I'm going to spend some time in Austin. Johnny, I think, just got me Fort Worth, Texas. That's pretty cool. June 14th. That'll be on the calendar pretty soon. And uh, what else? I'll be in Montclair, New Jersey, April 19th. I'll be in Stanford, Connecticut, April 27th. And join us over on Patreon. Guys, listen to Scott's Wrestle Podcast. Subscribe to, <laughs> subscribe to Sean's uh, Substack. Hmm. Uh, any anything else? We're at time, right? We're yeah. good. What's that? One oh eight. Yeah, great. Right. Pa- Patreon dot com. All right. Out for and if you could somehow switch the back half of the episode with the front. <laughs> you could play this in reverse. You play play the episode in reverse. Yeah. No, I don't know. It's it's gonna be fine. We'll have it in the, in the description. I and I don't. I refuse to get down on myself. So. Join us over on Patreon for our 200th episode, uh, patreon.com slash smokes. Bye-bye.